Good morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to a bright and sunny and mild summer's day, almost summer, at Utopia Farms. Today is going to be extremely busy. It's definitely a selling day today. We've got a lot of sheep leaving today to different people from Western Ontario um, to local in our area. So a lot going on. Unlike selling market lambs, we are really happy when we're selling breeding stock because that's really the business we're in and it feels really nice to have our sheep going on to have careers at other people's farms. So stay with us. Here's the big boys getting fed their breakfast. They're probably happy because we got some nice sunshine for them. So nice to see everything green and to be wearing no sleeves. Finally, it took so long. I'll give you a quick update before our, our visitors arrive. The first ones are due any minute now. This is the ewe that was really berserk yesterday with her lambs. You can see she's really quieted down now that she lost her placenta. The two lambs are laying side by side, nice and calm and quiet, well fed. So um, she's hovering over them. All is well in this pen. She just needed some space. This one here is the one with the lamb that's having problems. Uh, we just gave him some more antibiotics now. He's still heaving and he's still not nursing. She loves him, so hopefully she can help get him back to normal. But we're not quite so hopeful with this lamb. Got people coming to see this group. These are the group um, he's probably going to take. Some nice views in here. Here they come. Actually, that's a pretty nice group when you see them all together like that. <laughs> so which one yeah. I mean, I think they're pretty even. But... Yeah. Oh, we even got one who wants to go. <laughs> you got... Okay, the unheard of happened. They're all going in the trailer themselves. And now they're all going to come out. So these are the 10 lucky ones that are going to a new home. Now when we want to load them, they won't go in the trailer. <laughs> okay, so the first 10 new lambs of the year are heading to their new home. Always a sad, happy moment. I was going to a good home. That, yeah, they they have, they showed us their setup. Yeah. Looks really nice. They're going to be quite happy with that. Ben? And oh. right now we got yeah. all the ram lambs out there playing under the tree. They're all happy. So our next customer just arrived with their trailer. And instead of looking at you lambs, we're heading over to look at the Dorset rams because he needs a bunch of Dorsets for his accelerated lambing program. Okay, what we're doing right now is we're doing process of elimination. So usually what we recommend people do is they pull out the ones they absolutely don't want. And then you can concentrate on the ones that are left or the ones that you do like. Dale has come here 
in the past and bought sheep from us and he's back again which is always nice so the final tally was six rams he's pulling up now these are the boys we got those two there and then these four over here Hey buddies, good boys. So these guys are going to be going into a breeding group and doing what they are made to do. Hi, you're gonna have fun at your new place. So as he as he drives his trailer up, I gotta hold these guys back from the door because they wanna run and escape. Nobody. No. Now we're just setting up a ramp for him. And these guys should run right on. I think they probably go right on, but in my, I'm always by myself, so I can always think of the worst. You're always by yourself. Hey, buddies, smarten up load these guys, see how well they do with their ramp. Oh, that should be fine without it. As soon as one, one goes, they'll all go. Sometimes we're a little strong, that ramp runs a little better. They can't deal with anything clean, eh? Or if you get one up, they all go. Turn around, turn around. Okay, now if they see that. There they go. Oh, get, 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 have an edge, buddy. There you go. Sheep, they're followers. So this is a guy who's a forward thinker. I thought he was taking these rams home to breed right away because that's what most people are doing when they pick up rams. But he's actually not breeding till fall. But he didn't want to be buying the leftovers, so he came early. Which I understand why people don't want to have the rams hanging around all summer because we don't want them hanging around all summer either. But if you want to have your choice, it's a really good idea to buy early. Okay, so we decided to weigh this little guy. Unfortunately, he's put a hole through the bag, so his bottom leg's sticking out. And we have him at, it's stabilizing, 22 point something, right? There, 22.4. Was his that this is his one week birthday? It's okay. Got to run to the grocery stores. Can't even, can't even make a, a good bag, honestly. Can't even make a good bag. You pay for that stuff, eh? A dollar. There you go. And here comes our next uh, person up the driveway with a trailer. Being very careful because the dogs are misbehaving and running down to meet them. This will be Matthew coming to pick up the rest of the Dorset Cross ewes as Arnie's trimming a tree back there. So we've been having a nice little chat with Matthew and his friend here, and we've been chatting so much again <laughs> that all the sheep got tired of listening to us and they're all relaxing here. All the mums are laying down, all the lambs are snuggled up with them, which is kind of nice. We've just got the trailer backed up. We're setting up the gates and the ramp again. And now we're going to get the ewes in. 
Okay, so here come the girls. to do is get one in and they all want to be together so they all follow. It's the easy way to load sheep. There they are. So much for them all lying down. All that kerfuffle got them all back up. <laughs> Poor things. There, these guys are up too. These ones were born yesterday. You guys look really nice. See how calm she is now. And he's got a milky, milky lips. See? What a difference a day makes. You're quite relaxed now. You got some wonderful lammies. She was so upset yesterday. You're very pretty. Her lamb's still struggling, but I see his head's up and everything under there. You can just see him under there. So hopefully that the antibiotics are setting in and hopefully that is the problem and we can deal with it. But it's been a struggle with this these two. Not you. You're no problem at all. And you guys are all woken up. Okay, so we had another long chat with Matt and delayed his leaving, as we always do. But uh, <laughs> there they head out with his last load of sheep. Look at what we discovered in our lawn. But where's the mom? Hey, yo, buddy. Hey. This guy is a baby raccoon. Now we do have raccoons nesting in Arnie's shop and it could be one of them, but it is strange that the baby is out here and the mother is not. So it's been, uh... hey Bob. It's been two weeks now for the, for the barley. And you can, uh, well, you probably can't see it. With all the grass seeds coming up, the barley looks good.
spent two weeks today. So now Arnie's gone over to the fall barley field on the other road. So you can see the advantage of the fall barley. I think of this barley here is probably about uh, eight inches high already. And uh, the spring barley is only about uh, two inches high. So you can see how this really has the edge on everything. But it looks very good. A little bit of water damage right there. It's not too bad. My ponds are still full of water. But all the other barley looks really good. There's a couple weeds, some some weeds showing in the barley. I don't think it's a real problem. But we'll keep our eye on it. Yeah, you can see a few weeds right there. Right here are some weeds. See how that turns out. I don't know how. I don't know if we're going to spray this uh, earlier or later. But yeah, this looks extremely healthy. Yeah, that's me. This is one of the hay fields. And you can see the hay fields are looking really good. Lots of alfalfa. So this field here, this field here was about 30% of alpha, about 70% grasses. It is, uh, it is all tiled land. And the field looks good. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking right now the field is probably let me look at it here. Yeah, I'm thinking the field's uh, easily 10 inches high right now. So, hope to be cutting this field in uh, 30 days, 25 days. We we'll hope to be cutting the field off. And if you remember a little while ago, Bonnie, one of our viewers, came over and bought a Dorset fleece from us. Well, here's a sample of some of the rovings she made out of the fleece. And with these rovings, she spun some wool and knit some little items here. She obviously uh, dyed some of the wool as well because of all the colors there. So I think this is really neat to see. So we've seen it from shearing to the roving and to, to the finished good. And uh, yeah. Fun stuff, and thank you very much, Bonnie, for sending that in for us. As the sun starts to go down, we're going to call that a day. Hope you enjoyed yourself at Utopia Farms, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Until then, bye for now.